Hi everyone, I'm volcanologist Dr. Janine Krupna and this is my guest. Hello, I'm Dr. Ben Andrews. I'm director of the Smithsonian Institution Global Volcanism Program. Thank you very much for joining me and you're going to tell me a little bit about obsidian lava flows. That's right. Obsidians are an amazing type of lava. They're an amazing material and we're seeing a, a chunk of one right there and these are something that often capture the public imagination because of pop culture references like Dragon Glass and Game of Thrones or use as arrowheads and other tools by indigenous cultures and they've even been used as surgical blades in scalpels. And so I'll talk to you a little bit about how they form. So the first part is obsidians are volcanic rock. They are frozen lava, which is pretty cool. They were once hot, now they're cold. The, the what makes obsidians amazing is that they have cooled in such a way that they don't crystallize very much. And what's even crazy is that for them to have erupted as a lava, not as an explosion, they had to come up very slowly. So how do we reconcile all this? The way that they work is the magma comes up very slowly, slow enough that the gas and the bubbles out before it explodes, but the lava is so viscous, it's so sticky that the atoms can't rearrange themselves into crystals. And so as a result, we get these amazing bits of essentially totally frozen melt. So if we want to study what a magma was like before it erupted, an obsidian is a great way to do that. Excellent, thank you. And the most recent example we had, there's only been one where humans have witnessed it, right? That was in Chile? That's right. Chaiten volcano in um, in Chile had an eruption, and then also the Puyehue, Cordoncoe eruption also in Chile had, had um, obsidian eruptions, and those were in... Let's see, Chaitem was 2008 and Puyewe Koran Koye was 2011 and 12, I believe. Yeah, so if anyone wants to check those out, jump on to Google. Thank you so much for joining me for this volcanic moment. Thank you for having me.